This is Cook and Cassis Rifle TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbar. Uh, we're at Wembley Arena here. Frank, uh, a disappointing but a brave performance from Frank Bullioni tonight. No shame in there tonight whatsoever. No, not at all. It's, uh, I mean, if Hearts won world titles, he'd be world champion. I mean, he showed tremendous courage and uh, bravery. <clears throat> it was always like rolling the dice in as much that, um, you know, he was always going to be the underdog going into the fight, but he certainly didn't disgrace himself. And I think there's you know, a couple of little controversial moments in the fight that um, may have, I don't know, may have changed it, may not have. I mean, the knockdown, um, I certainly didn't hear the bell, and I don't think anybody in the hall heard, heard the bell. Everybody cheered, no one heard the bell ring. And, uh, and I, I'm, I want to look at that again. Seems to have got two points deducted as well. Yeah, two points, and, and besides the two points, it was the recovery time that, um, that Shudinov got as well. You know, Tom is walking around the after He had his minute rest. Then after that, you know, uh, Terry O'Connor walked around, obviously telling the judges what his decision was and whatever, and he gave him extra time to recover. And I'm not saying he shouldn't be allowed to rec recover if it was after, after the bell, but it's the thing, thing is for me is, and until I see it, I can't see it again, I can't um, probably make the decision, but I want to see it as if, the, as if the, he was told to stop boxing. Because he's not the timekeeper, the boxers are not the timekeeper. They take the instructions from the referee. And if we didn't hear the bell, maybe they didn't hear the bell. Despite obviously uh, Frank being behind for the majority of the fight, you did feel that as the fight was playing out, he had, a, he had a chance all the way through you the fight. If he could connect, you felt that he could, you know, take the fight out of shooting off. I mean, we showed that when he, he could hurt him. He did hurt him a couple of times. Shooting off said that, you know, he's talking after the fight and he said it himself. You know, he had that chance. I know he, he is a puncher, he can punch you, he catches you, he can hurt you. And it was just, I think, maybe a bit of inexperience, but, you know, he, you, you, you still, it was an absorbing fight in as much that you felt that, you know, he, he, he may do it. That was only Chilinov's 14th fight, but in hindsight, would you say Frank Bologna was ready for a fight like that, Frank? I just think he needs, I think Frank fights at the level he, whoever you put him in with. And mm. I think that's that's how he is. And I, and you know, what, what was he going to have a rematch with with Markham? You know, the, to me, it was it was. It, I suppose in some ways we were rolling the dice, but it was an opportunity for him, and it was an opportunity to fight for a world title, to fight in his home, you know, in his home uh, town and stuff. Um, and I just felt that you know it was a risk worth taking. Mm. Um, you know, and it, and, it, and it may have come off, or unfortunately, it didn't come off. But like I said, there's there's no shame in his performance tonight. And, no, not at all. You know. Not at all. Not at all. Um, Derek Cesora, uh speaking to him after the fight, he was very disappointed that obviously you know he went ten rounds with uh, Nascimento tonight. Um, he said that there's possibly uh, a huge fight for him towards the end of the year. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, right? not at the moment. I was disappointed as well. I mean, you know, it, you know, it wasn't the most. It wasn't his great. You know, it wasn't one of his greatest performances and. Uh, I know he got rounds under his belt, <clears throat> but you know I was expecting a bit more from him from, from that fight. Um, we'll, we're, we're meeting up next week and we'll see where we go. Okay. Um, people are awaiting news of uh, a new date for Billy Joe Saunders and Andy Lee Frank. Can you give us an update for that? Um, we're look, looking at a date at the moment, the 19th of December. We're just waiting for um, uh, you know for, for um, to get some to get get the final clearance on Bill, and then we we'll move on it. We obviously know in the summer that you did try to make the rematch for uh, Saunders and Eubank, with Eubank now joining Matchroom. Is that obviously, that fight's very unlikely to ever happen? Well, I doubt it because I give up on, on uh, Eubank, uh, I think it was around June, July. We offered him all sorts of fights and uh, it was a bit disappointing. You know, he, he won an interim world title. Um, we offered him a rematch, which, didn't come, which we thought at one stage we had the deal done with Bill and it, it didn't come out because of his father and one of the... Uh, and what his father wanted. In financial terms, everything agreed. He's just being awkward over something. We've offered him, <coughs> we offered him a fight with um, Jamie Cox. Um, we offered him, I think who else was it? Jamie Cox. We offered him. We offered, uh, quite a few different opponents, and which and I was struggling with opponents, and I, cer I certainly was not prepared to pay the money he wanted to fight the type of opponents he wanted to fight. You know, he, 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 he you know, I, I see him fighting. A rider who was, a, you know, who was a decent, decent little fighter. Seeing him or fighting a rose as a step backwards, and I weren't going to go down that road, you know. And what noise is when the, you know, his old man's talking about fighting um, Golovkin and all those. It's just ridiculous. It, you know, it's hard work, and uh, 
But I wish him all the best. He's a you know he's, he's a you know he's a nice young man. He's a good kid. You know he's a good kid. I just hope that he can come through despite what goes on around him. Were you surprised by a move to Metro? No, yeah, well, it goes somewhere, didn't he? I mm. mean, you know, we our contract came to an end, and uh, that was it for me. He also, his dad asked me if I wanted to be his advisor, <clears throat> and I, you know, just <laughs> I want my, I don't, my, I, I got no problem with a fighter, but it's as I say, you know, the father and all that goes on with him. I, I don't need those headaches. I'm been in the game too long, and I'm too old for all that. I just haven't got the time. And the, you know the sort of what's, what they call it, the man management, um, and the time it takes out of your life. It's just too much for me. I can't, I'm past all that with it. Um, speaking to Mr. <coughs> Smith tonight, a uh, bit gutting that obviously he can't he can't fight at the end of next <coughs> month. But hopefully the fight with George Jeff will be rescheduled for another time. Yeah, we're getting that sorted out before mm. the end of the year. It's uh, it's a, it's a sub's law at the moment. Isn't it? All these injuries. I mean, we we sort of had a, quite a bit of it with our fighters and. Uh, I mean, even Klitschko going out with a, an injury it just happens, doesn't it, in boxing? It's, uh, it's, but we seem to have a bit of a run of it at the moment. Mm. Um, but attention now turns to uh, October 10th in Manchester. Obviously, Terry Flanagan defending his world title and Liam Smith aiming to be uh, a new world champion. So hopefully a double successful night for you. That night. Well, fingers crossed. I mean, they're two very tough fights. They both got tough opponents and, it, and they are tough fights. They're not easy jobs. Um, but hopefully our men... You know, we've done a weekend to ensure that everything we you can do to get any every advantage possible. We've done that, so hopefully it's now up to them to come through and uh, and do the business. All right, Frank. Listen, unless you've got anything else to add. Um... No, nope, not at all. Uh, yeah, but it's a good night's fight. I mean, it was a good show. Yeah. A very entertaining show. I mean, good fights on there, and, uh, and I think the fans got their money's worth tonight. All right, Frank. Listen, thanks for talking to IFM TV, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, Mr. All right, cheers.